Welcome to the Eternal Bible Quiz YouTube channel. You are on your way to experience a journey of deep exploration of the Bible with us. Today, we will explore 20 fascinating questions, the secrets hidden in the pages of the Holy Book, and explore together the depths of faith and knowledge. Be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos from us. For now, let's get started. Question 1. On what day of the week was Jesus first seen after his resurrection? A. Friday B. Wednesday C. The first day of the week D. Thursday You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter C, the first day of the week, Matthew chapter 28, verse 1 in New International Version states, After the Sabbath at dawn on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to look at the tomb. Question 2. Where was Jesus born? A. Jerusalem B. Bethlehem C. Nazareth D. Kana. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter B. Bethlehem. Matthew chapter 2 verse 1 in New International Version states, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea during the time of King Herod, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem. Question 3. In whose image was man created? A. Cherubims B. Angels C. Gods D. Seraphim You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter C. God's Genesis chapter 1 verse 27 in New International Version states, So God created mankind in his own image. In the image of God he created them. Male and female he created them. Question 4. How many disciples did Jesus appear to on the road to Emmaus? A. Two disciples. B. Five disciples. C. Seven disciples. D. 11 disciples. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter A. Two disciples. Luke chapter 24, verse 13. 15 in New International Version states, Now that same day two of them were going to a village called Emmaus, about seven miles from Jerusalem. They were talking with each other about everything that had happened. As they talked and discussed these things with each other, Jesus himself came up and walked along with them. Question 5. In which river was Jesus baptized by John? A. Euphrat B. Jordan C. Nile D. Pison You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter B, Jordan, Matthew chapter 3, verse 13 in New International Version states, Then Jesus came from Galilee to the Jordan to be baptized by John. Question 6. How many times did Jesus say that someone should be forgiven? A. Up to 10 times. B. Up to 20 times. C. Up to 30 times. D. 77 times. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter D, 77 times. Matthew chapter 18, verse 21, 22 in New International Version states, Then 
Peter came to Jesus and asked, Lord, how many times shall I forgive my brother or sister who sins against me? Up to seven times. Jesus answered, I tell you not seven times, but 77 times. Question seven, how did Pilate's wife describe Jesus? A, divine, mystical. B, innocent, righteous. C, troublesome, dangerous. D, wicked, evil. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter B, innocent, righteous. Matthew chapter 27 verse 19 in New International Version states, while Pilate was sitting on the judge's seat, his wife sent him this message. Don't have anything to do with that innocent man, for I have suffered a great deal today in a dream because of him. Question 8. Who first gave birth to twins? A. Tamar. B. Rebecca. C. Sarai. D. Eve. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter B, Rebecca, Genesis, chapter 25, verse 24, 26 in New International Version states, When the time came for her to give birth, there were twin boys in her womb. The first to come out was red, and his whole body was like a hairy garment, so they named him Esau. After this, his brother came out with his hand grasping Esau's heel, so he was named Jacob. Isaac was 60 years old when Rebekah gave birth to them. Question 9. What infant was raised by the Pharaoh's daughter? A. Abraham B. Aaron C. Moses D. Israel You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter C, Moses, Exodus. Chapter 2, verse 10 in New International Version states, When the child grew older, she took him to Pharaoh's daughter and he became her son. She named him Moses, saying, I drew him out of the water. Question 10. Who did Jesus scold for being worried and upset about many things? A. Mary B. Martha C. Elizabeth D. Tabitha You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter B. Martha, Luke chapter 10, verse 40, 41 in New International Version states, but Martha was distracted by all the preparations that had to be made. She came to him and asked, Lord, don't you care that my sister has left me to do the work by myself? Tell her to help me. Martha, Martha, the Lord answered, you are worried and upset about many things. Don't forget to count your correct guesses. Question 11. Where did Moses first encounter the Lord? A. In a dream. B. In a vision. C. At Mount Horeb. D. At a well. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter C. At Mount Horeb. Exodus. Chapter 3, verse 1 in New International Version states, Now Moses was tending the flock of Jethro, his father-in-law, the priest of Midian, and he led the flock to the far side of the wilderness and came to Horeb, the mountain of God. Question 12. What did the angel in the book of Revelation tell John was the spirit of prophecy? A. Truth. B. The Holy Spirit. C. 
the testimony of Jesus. D, revelation of the future. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter C, the testimony of Jesus. Revelation chapter 19 verse 10 in New International Version states, At this I fell at his feet to worship him, but he said to me, Don't do that. I am a fellow servant with you and with your brothers and sisters who hold to the testimony of Jesus. Worship God, for it is the spirit of prophecy who bears testimony to Jesus. Question 13. How did that man of God die after leaving Bethel? A. He was killed by thieves. B. He was struck by a lion. C. He was struck by lightning. D. A wall fell on him. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter B. He was struck by a lion. 1 Kings chapter 13 verse 24 verse 26 in New International Version states, As he went on his way, a lion met him on the road and killed him, and his body was left lying on the road with both the donkey and the lion standing beside it. When the prophet who had brought him back from his journey heard of it, he said, It is the man of God who defied the word of the Lord. The Lord has given him over to the lion which has mauled him and killed him, as the word of the Lord had warned him. Question 14. In which town did Jesus heal a blind man by spitting on his eyes? A. Bethany B. Jericho C. Bethsaida D. Capernaum You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter C, Bethsaida. Mark chapter 8, verse 22, 23 in New International Version states, They came to Bethsaida, and some people brought a blind man and begged Jesus to touch him. He took the blind man by the hand and led him outside the village. When he had spit on the man's eyes and put his hands on him, Jesus asked, Do you see anything? Question 15. Who was despised by his wife for dancing before the Lord? A. Saul B. Eli C. David D. Abraham You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter C. David, 1 Chronicles Chapter 15, verse 29 in New International Version states, As the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord was entering the city of David, Michael, daughter of Saul, watched from a window. And when she saw King David dancing and celebrating, she despised him in her heart. Question 16. Who broke the bronze serpent into pieces? A. Elijah B. Solomon C. Hezekiah D. Moses You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter C. Hezekiah 2 Kings Chapter 18 verse 1 verse 4 in New International Version states in the third year of Hoshea son of Elah king of Israel, Hezekiah son of Ahaz king of Judah began to reign. He removed the high places, smashed the sacred stones, and cut down the Asherah poles. He broke into pieces the bronze snake Moses had made, for up to that time the Israelites had been burning incense to it. It was called Nehushtan. Question 17. Which of the following is well known for being tall? A. Saul B. David C. Ezekiel 
D. Elijah, you have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter A, Saul. 1. Samuel chapter 9 verse 2 in New International Version states, Kish had a son named Saul, as handsome a young man as could be found anywhere in Israel, and he was a head taller than anyone else. Question 18. Jonathan had a son who was lame. What was his name? A. Mephibosheth B. Mary C. Pippin D. Jonathan Jr. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter A, Mephibosheth. 2 Samuel chapter 4 verse 4 in New International Version states, Jonathan son of Saul had a son who was lame in both feet. He was five years old when the news about Saul and Jonathan came from Jezreel. His nurse picked him up and fled, but as she hurried to leave, he fell and became disabled. His name was Mephibosheth. Question 19. What road was Paul traveling on when Jesus appeared to him? A. The Emmaus Road B. The Roman Road C. The Damascus Road D. The Sumerian Road You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter C, the Damascus Road. Acts chapter 9, verse 3, 4 in New International Version states, As he neared Damascus on his journey, suddenly a light from heaven flashed around him. He fell to the ground and heard a voice say to him, Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? Question 20. Who said to Moses, what you are doing is not good. You and these people who come to you will only wear yourselves out. The work is too heavy for you. You cannot handle it alone. A. Aaron B. Joshua C. Moses' father-in-law, Jethro D. Sarah You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter C, Moses' father-in-law Jethro, Exodus, chapter 18, verse 17, 18 in New International Version states, Moses' father-in-law replied, What you are doing is not good. You and these people who come to you will only wear yourselves out. The work is too heavy for you. You cannot handle it alone. Thank you for joining us on Bible Quiz Channel. Comment and let us know how many questions you answered correctly. Invite your loved ones and friends to join us in exploring the depths of the Bible together. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated with our latest videos. See you on our next journey. Goodbye and remember, sharing knowledge is truly wonderful.